What's going down, T subs and T squads? So, girl, I'm here, child, and I'm here to give y'all a small little yang yang around the house before I gotta leave to start my damn day. So, um, this tea that I'm about to give you guys is old as hell, it's old as dirt, it's old as Methuselah, but <clears throat> it coincides with what Windbag got going on now. Um, first and foremost, shout out to uh, Lele girl, Layla Lynn. Shout out to Lele, that's my good sis, uh, for dropping this story because I saw her first. All right, no shade to nobody else, but I saw my sis first, so that's why I'm giving her the credit. And also, shout out to Kim Pyre. After I watched what she had to say, I listened to what he had to say or whatever. And I think it's a much bigger conversation that, that really should uh, be talked about. Um, so I'm about to give you guys a small little breakdown. I'm going to tell y'all my thoughts and event opinions and views, and then I'm getting out of here. I ain't going to be here long. Not belaboring the time. So the tea that everybody is talking about happened way back in May 2020. Like I said, this shit is old as Methuselah. But again, it coincides with what Wendy has going on in the present world, <clears throat> in the present days, the present times. So back in tw May 2020, when the pandemic really was doing what she was supposed to do, girl, y'all know everything was um, digital. Everything was either Zoom or StreamYard with music, TV, whatever. <coughs> everything was done by computer. During around this time, it was alleged because, again, at the end of the day, all of this is alleged. All right. All of this is alleged. So allegedly around that time when Winbag was doing her show down in her house or whatever the case may be, people noticed that she looked a little disheveled um, as if she was drinking. And everybody was really concerned about her drinking because as the episodes continued down to her home, she seemed to be spiraling down, um, you know, spiraling down more and more and more as the episodes went on. Um, I believe she had like two breakdowns on the show, crying, you know, crying and then acting erratic and things like that. And of course, fans of hers, fans of the show, of course, they're going to feel away. Of course, they're going to ask questions. Of course, they're going to get scared and worried for her and blah, blah, blah. So once they found all of that out, allegedly some of her employees or some execs went around there to the house after that recent um, situation that she had doing the live of her show, her after show or whatever, down her house. And they said when they got there that they saw her stripped down, butt funky pussy naked. Butt funky pussy naked. And was sat around there playing with herself and yelling vulgar um, obscenities to them people. And they was worried about her and it got so bad and she got so irate with it that they went on ahead and called... Um, you know, the healthcare workers to come around there and go and take her down to the nut house. Let's just call it what it is. And that's where the hell she stayed um, until she got herself better. Which leads us to present days. Because y'all know, listen, here's the thing. First and foremost, there's two separate stories that are going around that I've heard about what allegedly went down. Uh, when they supposedly, uh, when she supposedly made them, made them watch her beat her clit into submission. And once one version that I heard was she made them watch. And another version that I heard was by the time they got there, that's what she was already doing. So which one is it? Was it when she got there, she made y'all watch her strip down butt funky pussy naked to set up and watch her beat her click into submission? Or was it when y'all already got there, she was already in one of her episodes and y'all caught it just in that? That's number one. Number two, now that all of the jokes and stuff like that is out of the way, I'm about to get to a real serious situation. I think it's really sad and really fucked up that the only time them people came around there to see about her is after she had a meltdown on TV and when it was messing with their money and fuck up with their money and people didn't want to watch. Now they got all the compassion in the world to want to go around there and go and see about it. You know, that's one of the many pitfalls when it comes to this industry. 
because and K. Michelle said it best on the first season of Real, I mean, not real, on the first season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, when she said, they just want you to shut up and make the money. They want you to shut up, sing, rap, dance, write, whatever it is that you do, film, direct, produce, whatever. They want you to shut up and do what the hell you need to do to make the money. What you have going on in your personal time does not matter to them. What you have going on, and if it's going to coincide or, or mess up what it is, what they're really trying to get to, which is their money, they're going to drop you off like a bad habit. And I'm going to tell you something else. I really feel like that's the real, that's the sole reason why Wendy doesn't feel the need to get better. Because I just feel like she doesn't trust anybody at this point. Because I honestly feel like Wendy knows that the only reason why they came around there to come check on her was solely because of the meltdown. And I think it's real fucked up that this woman don't have not one real friend in her life or in her corner that's saying, friend, fuck this shit, friend. What's going on? Like, you know, I, I don't I don't know how far YouTube is going to take me, but I really hope it doesn't take me so far to a point where I get like Wendy to where I just don't care no more. I don't care about my image. I don't care about everything that I worked so hard to get all of these years. I don't care about nothing but the but, but the bottle. Or 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 or, you know, what my dealer gave me. And hopefully you fired that nigga because whatever he was giving you, it won't nothing good, child. Whatever he gave you, it expired. So I'm glad you made him expire. But I really want you on this real serious tote. I really want Wendy to get better for herself. I don't want Wendy to get better for, for the network. I don't want her to get better for um, her fans. I don't even want her to get better for her son at this point because he a grown damn nigga. I want Wendy to get better for her. I want Wendy to wake up one morning and look at herself and say, what the hell am I doing with my life? Like Wendy is in her golden years. Wendy should be somewhere sipping lemonade where her feet's up. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, Gucci man. You know what I'm saying? She should be on the island somewhere in Dubai living her best life. You know what I'm saying? She should be Girl, her old ass need to be somewhere retired to Boca Raton, Florida, like everybody else do around there to her age. Get her a real cute little villa on the damn uh, water or whatever the case may be. Have her dirty piece of trade around there. Come around there and knock her ankles loose real good. All that good stuff. Like, that's the like, Wendy, that's what you worked so hard for. Now, Wendy, you didn't work hard to end up like this. This is this is not the assignment. This is this. Is not the end goal. This is not what God had planned for you, daughter. It's not. I talk a lot of shit about Wendy. I have no problems with Wendy. I just like to talk about it because it's a gag. I don't dislike Wendy. I don't have no problems with Wendy. I genuinely want her to get better because she needs to get better for herself and not anybody else. Not these blood sucking ass execs that don't give a damn about you not these friends that that's that's only gonna be your yes men not family and all of the rest of that i want her to get better for herself i really do like i it it bothers me when i constantly have to hear something about wendy and it's never wendy getting better wendy doing good wendy's hanging in there y'all wendy possibly gonna get her get her show back wendy's doing this wendy's doing that is always the bad the negative and the ugly that's my thought that's my that's my take on it um y'all jump down in the comments y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation but it's it's really sad it's really, 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 really sad. It is. Um, because I want better for Wendy. Like I said, she worked way too hard for these many years to sit up here and allow her 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 legacy and her resume to just end in, in, in like this in a drunken, sloppy mess with money. Money can't buy happiness. A lot of people say money can buy money can fix all. That's what Stevie J seemed to think. Money can fix all. Girl, you better look at Winbag. Winbag got all of the comforts that, that anybody would want, and, and she's still miserable and unhappy. Turn into the bottle. Turn into that expired crack dealer. 
turning it this and turning it that. I mean, everybody want the money, but Y'all, that's it. That's all I got. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions and y'all views. And um, let me know what y'all think. Like I said, seriously, y'all pray for Wendy because we need to huddle around our sister. We need to huddle around our sister and we need to go on ahead and pray for her because I, I, I do feel bad for Wendy. I do. Like, I, this is a lot. And, you know, I, I wanted to get better. But that's it. That's all I got. So until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all later, girl. Bye.